Now, this one just came in, and it's kind of timely because of what transpired this past weekend. And, Jerry, you were in San Jose for the Payback pay-per-view. And Mike in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, wants to know, what was your thoughts on the House of Horrors uh, match between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt? <laughs> yes, that's appropriate. We were just talking about horror movies. And, yeah. and you know, I, I said that. I even said that in, during the kickoff show uh, to um, – Renee Young uh, about what a, I was so looking forward to the House of Horrors match because um, I was such a big horror movie fan. I mean, I, I lived in a little town in Ohio uh, that where you could, back in the day when I was just a kid, you could still walk, you know, to uh, the movies or, or walk to school or that sort of thing. You know, the, those days are long since gone. <laughs> now it really does turn into a horror if you try to do something like that. But uh Back in the day when our local movie theater would ever sh show a monster movie like uh, uh, Frankenstein or The Mummy or Dracula or Wolfman, those those movies, uh, I really looked forward to walking to the movie and walking home that night because you had from the, from the downtown movie theater to my house, you had to walk down this little hill and, uh, and, and of course on the sidewalk to the left was the street and then to the right was this just little area where there was a creek running through there and just a wooded area sort of and it was just really spooky and scary looking so i, I don't know i from that point on i i always loved to be scared i loved uh um uh, you know horror movies and speaking of that i'm doing an appearance in september with uh, with one of the greatest horror movie stars of all time the scariest movie ever made what and and gary and i talked about this at one time what would you say glenn is the scariest movie ever made oh wow like i i love a good horror movie yeah and i don't think i don't think any movie is scary but i think if you watch it for the first time the exorcist Yes, exactly. What do you mean you don't think yeah. any movies scary? The Exorcist is the scariest. Movie I don't get. Ever. I don't. I don't get scared that easily. I don't. I don't get scared. But as a kid watching The Exorcist for the first time, I yes. was terrified. Absolutely, it made a, it made an indelible impression on me that I've never forgotten. And I'm going to be making an appearance. It'll be the second time I, I did an appearance with her once before with Linda Blair. Uh, she's going to be in Louisville, Kentucky in, uh, on uh, Labor Day weekend, and she and I are going to be making an appearance together at a show in Louisville, Kentucky. And Linda Blair is just a delight to talk to about uh, – uh, well, she talks, she'll talk about anything, but, you know, of course, everybody wants to talk to her about making that movie and everything. So she signed a picture to me, and she, she does one of the greatest autographs. Um, when she signs her picture and of course i picked out i said look I, I i want one from one of the most unflattering pictures of her but it's you know it's her when she's under the under the uh possession of the of the of the uh, devil there in the movie where she just looks so scary and but anyway she signed the picture she said to jerry you make my head spin Linda Blair. <laughs> so if you remember her head spinning around in that movie, so that's a great way to that she signs her pictures. But anyway, back off the subject, back to uh, the House of Horrors. Uh, I was, you know, such a fan of those kinds of things. I was really, really excited about this. And, you know, the WWE, man, they have the opportunity and they have the people that could put together some really great um, special effects. And, and so I, I just, I just was, ex I, I, I guess... My problem was I got my expectations up too high. I was expecting, um, you know, uh, like like one of the things that I love to do every year here that we have the Delta Fair in Memphis, and every year I I can't wait to go to the the House of Horrors. They always have one, you know, the haunted house or the scary scary, scary house. Either you walk through the thing at Halloween time, you walk through a haunted house somewhere where you know people pop out and and scare you half to death or some of the reach reach out and grab you or whatever or the ones at the fair you ride through a little you ride in a little uh uh carriage thing going through there and it's all scary and things are you know jumping out at you and that sort of stuff and i guess i expected more scary stuff and 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 then instead you know what it was was just bray wyatt and randy orton having a hell of a fight uh and 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 all of that stuff in a darkened house um and I, I just, I just think that, uh, to me at least, I was disappointed in the fact that there, there wasn't anything scary about it. Uh, you know, it was like I guess there was, 
uh, maybe early on there was one thing that kind of tried to where they looked like they tried to scare Randy, but it was just like they, it, there wasn't even anything that would have scared Randy in there. It just turned out to be a fight in a house, and they broke a lot of stuff, and and that was all cool. It, it was you know great fight, but I was just kind of disappointed in the fact that I expected there to be more something more scary. Yeah, they had like the the baby dolls like hanging from the ceiling like all weird you know but yeah it didn't, didn't scare me yeah that doesn't scare <laughs> me either. sorry yeah. i'm not scared of baby dolls <laughs> and then they have you know of all things i picked was a refrigerator on randy like i mean a fridge come on <laughs> well what i get I, what i guess like uh, i guess like after you see somebody turn over an ambulance single-handedly just dropping a refrigerator on somebody's just like uh, that's chopped liver right <laughs> i mean you can tell the cut, you know, the way they cut it. That Randy wasn't, you know, it just, I, I think with the time they would, they had to do it. Um, you know, I think I, I agree with you. Like, I think my expectations were a little bit higher. And I mean, I like, I like the match. I mean, I love, I love those are two, those are two of my favorite uh, WWE superstars right now, Randy and Bray Wyatt. And uh, you know, it, it never fails. These guys, you know, are going to put on a heck of a match, and they did. And and. It was just, and, and I don't know. I guess if it had, if it hadn't been given the the build up that it was given, it, you, I would have said, "Oh my gosh, that was great! These two guys tore a house up, and they you know they're fighting and tear, you know, this uh, uh, fighting each other all through this dilapidated house." But after after the the, the scary build up, I was I was just disappointed in that. But how did how did Randy get back to the arena? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I was, how do I know? <laughs> I was at look. I was at the arena wondering why it's daylight here and it was dark at the match. <laughs> that's that's why I was going to ask you. Like, it's pitch black there, and it's it's still light out in California. <laughs> I know. I was like, what the heck? Now, now this is you no know, people who you know want to keep kayfabe, um, you know the wrestling term, whatever. <laughs> now people the have done their research, term of Jerry. Kayfabe. <laughs> They have found the house. Oh, really? They, the internet. Yeah, they found the house. Uh, internet. It's it's for sale. It's in Missouri, so they filmed this in Missouri, and you can buy the house as is. This is you know I think it's this is before Randy and Bray tore it up, but you can buy the house for thirty six thousand dollars as is. <laughs> <laughs> Who would? I, I mean, I would love to own a house. Say a wrestling match took place here. Like this is where. This is where a refrigerator fell on Randy. This is where Bray was thrown through saw, the wall. I just saw on the internet where Marilyn Monroe's house, that the, the house she died in, uh, is for sale for six point nine million dollars. That's a little Jeez. little bit higher than the thirty six thousand you can get the Randy Orton House of Horrors for it. <laughs> <laughs> but are you sure? Now see, I, you hear stuff like that on the internet, and that's one that I would have to question. I would, I for some reason, no, they, they they actually they you know the website is official realtor website. And uh, it's the actual house that you know they, they compared what you saw on TV to what the pictures were, and it's the actual house. Well, that is a good question. How did they get from a house in Missouri back to the arena in San Jose? <laughs> that was like uh, that was one of those new flying Uber cars or something or whatever. The heck was there. <laughs> but no, I, I know we're nitpicking, but the, I agree. The match, the match was great. I enjoy Randy and Bray and their whole program because I, I like to have the horror. Kind of the horror thing in wrestling, you know, mixing horror with wrestling, and and not just having good guys versus bad guys, and then fighting it out, but you know, having that supernatural aspect to wrestling and bringing that in. And I think Bray has the perfect character for that, and I I enjoyed it, but I think I think I'm with you. My expectations a little bit higher. Yeah, I, I, that was that was my uh, my thought as well. It reminded me one of the things that Terry Funk and I always wanted to do. Well, this was it was sort of a, a joint idea we were talking about. Things to the, the way we could continue our uh, our rivalry over the years, and one of the things that we had come up with was to, we were going to try to find an old, uh, dilapidated, rundown house in Memphis, and that was had been condemned so that nobody would care anything like what we wanted to do with it. And Terry said, he said, I'll go, I'll I'll tell everybody on TV that I'm going to go over to your mother's house. And find you, you know, all this kind of stuff. And so that's not a good Terry Funk impersonation, but no, um, definitely not. Impression. That was not good at all. But anyway, Terry was going to tell the people that he was going to leave the studio and drive to my mother's house in Memphis, and um, and 
because he said he said I'm sure that Lawler's at home with his mom, try, you know, trying to hide from being here with me today, and and so then of course he would, the the, the uh, cameras would follow him in his car and drive up to this old dilapidated rundown house and this you know just a complete slum and claim that that was my mother's house and then go up and and uh, you know knock on the door and say Mrs. Lawler I know he's in there you know. All this kind of stuff, and then we were gonna. Then I would be inside, and we were gonna have a fight and tear up the uh, the whole interior of the of the house. And that's as I was watching Bray and Randy, I was thinking, man, that's sort of what Ray, that's sort of what Terry Funk and I were were wanting to do, but we never we never got around to to actually doing it. And now after watching that, maybe I'm sort of glad that we didn't. <laughs>